Hey, what's up guys, Dr. Jeff. Today's an exciting day. We're gonna be talking about the science. We're gonna go through five studies, powerful studies, on diffusing. Because so often, people do not utilize their diffuser to the fullest potential for their health, for their family. So I'm gonna give you some really practical tips, but also we're gonna go through these studies so that you can see the value on how important it actually is to be diffusing in different rooms of your house throughout the day and when you are sleeping. So first things first, practical tips. This is what I give recommendations to every class that I do is when you set up your diffuser for the first time, start with 10 drops of oil. So fill up the water to the little red dot and then start with 10 drops of oil. Many times we're diffusing two or three different oils at the same time. So we will start with 10 drops total of essential oil and then you can scale it up or down from there based on how strong the aroma you want in the room. So for us, like in the bedroom at nighttime, we always do 20 drops, 10 drops of our sleeping blend, 10 drops of our respiratory blend. And then we mix it up occasionally, but that is most of the time what we do. Every any time at night, it's always 20 drops total of oil in our bedroom. Then we set it for 10 hours and it's running all night long. So that is practical tip number one, the amount of oil, and then scale it up or down based on your preference. There's not a right or wrong way. You can literally diffuse every single oil that we have. And so don't be intimidated by diffusing. Just put oils in the diffuser, see if you like the aroma, do it again, change it up, have fun with it, but you're going to experience tremendous health benefits, tremendous emotional benefits from diffusing. So the first study I want to talk about comes from the Internal Journal of Occupational and Environmental Health. This was a 2018 study. They looked at clove, eucalyptus, and lavender against airborne environmental threats in indoor environments. And this is actually becoming a major public health concern with the contamination of air inside buildings, inside public areas, because so many times we walk into older buildings, you get hit with the smell of mold or in some type of contamination that you might pick up and it can be a really big challenge for a lot of people when we're exposed to these different environmental threats. So they went through the study diffusing specific oils, like I said, clove, eucalyptus, and lavender. And what this study found was that clove is the powerhouse. Clove is, out of these three, clove was very, very effective in an anti-environmental threat agent destructor. So clove, again, is an oil that we love to diffuse it's in our protective blend, so we're always diffusing that in the living room, in the kitchen, and it purifies the air really, really well. So clove is in the protective blend. You can do it using that blend, or you can utilize clove on its own. And so often we love to diffuse clove and wild orange together because it has such a warm, inviting, nurturing type of aroma while purifying the air. So that's the first study. The second study is a 2018 study as well from the Journal of Ethnopharmacology. Ethnopharmacology is the study of medicine derived from plants. So again, right up our alley, I loved reviewing and reading this study in particular because it was very, very fascinating. They diffused frankincense and myrrh and again, looked at it from an anti-environmental threat perspective and what they found and what was interesting in this study is frankincense so like our frankincense that we use it's a combination of all three species of the boswellia tree that has the most potent essential oils so it comes from the saccharide species carteriae species and farina species this study just looked at the carteriae which is the cheapest version of frankincense essential oil but even so frankincense has a long rich history in civilizations all around the world for thousands and thousands of years. And what they found in this study did not surprise at all. Because again, frankincense was found, again, as a very powerful anti-environmental threat agent for airborne pathogens. So again, frankincense diffusing is another great oil to purify the air. And a little side note for all of the members of doTERRA, don't forget this month with a 200 PV order, you get frankincense for free. It's a $68 oil. It's the December promotion. You get it for free. So if you don't have an account, let us know. We'll hook you up. 
third study was from the Journal of Medicine and Life in 2014. And this study looked at time as an anti-environmental threat agent for airborne threats. And because of the chemistry of time, the major molecule being thymol, it again showed very strong fuerte forza, all the words for strength and strong and destruction against anti-environmental threats. Time was a very, very, very effective oil. Now, one of the challenges with time is it's a hot oil like clove. So if you're going to be diffusing time, make sure you add some other oils in there that are going to balance it out because otherwise your nose hairs are going to be burning from diffusing time essential oil. The fourth study was really near and dear to my heart because we did this for my grandfather in memory care. This study looked at memory care centers and specifically 12 nurses, 24 residents diffusing lavender throughout the day and at nighttime. And what they found in this study was that the participants that were breathing in the lavender in their rooms and while they were sleeping showed less nervousness, less anxious behavior, and much less sleep disturbances throughout the night, meaning they slept throughout the night much better without waking up over and over and over again. So the fact that we can use essential oils in memory care, which we do, we've partnered with multiple different memory care centers, and we diffuse citrus oils during the day, lavender and calming oils at night, and we see these results. We see the same exact results that the study showed because when you breathe in certain essential oils, the molecules cross the blood-brain barrier, go into our brain chemistry, and really affect the neurotransmitters of our nervous system. So diffusing for memory care is a really effective tool to calm the residents and have them be much more at peace in their living environment away from family. And this last study is one of the reasons why my personal dentist uses essential oils in her practice now is because this study looked at 72 participants in a dental studio in the waiting room. There was a control group, which they were breathing in air that was not enhanced with essential oils. And then the study group had wild orange that they were breathing in pumped into the room. This group that had the wild orange coming into the room showed again, much more calm demeanor much less nervousness going into the dentist and had greater levels of a positive mood. So again, a greater sense of calm, less nervousness, and a much more positive mood in the group that was breathing in the aroma of wild orange essential oil. So again, essential oils are very powerful to be diffusing and spitting out or spewing out into the air in an atomized fashion so that the molecules are floating around. Everybody in the room is able to breathe them in, experience the oils, and get the health benefits from simply diffusing in your home or office. So I wanna encourage you guys, if you're not diffusing, start diffusing more. Add more diffusers to your home, to your bedroom, to your kid's bedroom, to the kitchen, to the living area, and start to be very mindful of diffusing essential oils throughout the day and at nighttime with your family. So I love you guys. If you have any questions, any comments at all, please let us know. We answer all of them. And we're excited that you're here. We're excited you're following us. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon.